It's just going to create a great deal of change for Malians uh, and for the Malian economy because, uh, you know, transactional, uh, commercial uh, transactions had been suspended for the last six months. Air and uh, uh, land uh, travel also had been suspended. So. What this means is that uh, Malians are going to be able to travel, uh, conduct business with uh, neighboring countries. The families that had been separated in the last uh, few months and weren't able to, you know, see each other are also uh, going to be uh, seeing each other. And uh, what I think is also uh, important to note is that, uh, you know, there had been some uh, cha changes and, and steps uh, forward that were made by the Malian transitional uh, government in the last uh, few weeks. They had announced a chronogram for a presidential election to uh, be held in uh, February 2024. And that was really one of the uh, important um, uh, sort of like that timeline, that very definitive timeline was something was, that was really uh, essential uh, to West African leaders. And it's believed that this is what uh, tipped the scale in their favor.